contractor registries have been in the marketplace uh, for 15 to 18 years. And uh, the model, the business model, not only the financial model that's attached to, to the registry concept um, is essentially unchanged, except for the prices, of course, gone up over the years, um, is that uh, the mechanics of these systems are essentially the same. Um, these are systems wherein uh, the vendor, the, the provider of the registry services, um, uh, keep control of the content. Uh, they keep control of all the other mechanism that's around the content. This is problematic because essentially what it means is you're, you're talking about a boilerplated approach to life. Um, uh, everyone knows that there's contractors of different sizes, different capabilities, different sophistications. So the idea that your, your technology cannot scale to uh, accommodate contractors of differing attributes really is just a non-starter in, in 2018. So our vision with CQN Advantage was really to give um, uh, tools to general contractors um, and uh, client organizations that they could figure to the nature of their own contractor base. So rather than having a contractor identify a service and that service identifies um, certain content that the contractor would need to complete and comply with vis-a-vis -vis the registry, we took an opposite approach. We basically said, let's start with a clean slate, allow the general contractor to determine what content they want, what documents they want, what um, assessment process they would like to have in place, um, and just give them the tools to configure uh, to, uh, to in, in a manner that best reflects their organization and what works best for their particular uh, contractor uh, pool.